Hey CRMers, today I'm going to be showing you an error that one of my customers experienced in the CRM Outlook client for 2013. So I'm going to be showing you the investigation process that I applied that includes finding the cause of the error and coming up with a workaround for it. So the case that our customer raised was that whenever they navigated to marketing lists, so only the marketing list entity, no other entity experienced this problem, this particular error was popping up. Now, my first instinct was the connection to the CM 2013 environment is fine because they are able to navigate to other entities within the CM Outlook client. It was only this particular entity in CRM in the CM Outlook client that just wouldn't load. So my next point of call was having a chat with one of my CM Dev Ninjas and I asked them to um, disable the plugins one by one just to see whether it was um, the cause to this. And none of that worked. The error was still appearing. So then the next step that I applied was, okay, how about I try it with another CM 2013 environment and see if the error is occurring. Now, when I connected my Outlook to another CM 2013 environment and went through the same steps, so I navigated to marketing lists entity, um, it worked fine. So it showed um, active marketing lists, which is default public view for the marketing list entity. So then that's when I decided to look further into the entity within this particular environment. So when I did go to the solution, the CRM solution, and went to the marketing list, list entity, I then had a look at the views, and I found out that the list associated with the owner view is the default public view. So out of the box, normally it's um, active marketing lists. So the list associated with the owner view was changed to be the default public view. So the next thing that I looked at was um, I had a look at the edit filter criteria. So to get there, you open up the view and over on the right hand side, there's um, an action here called edit filter criteria. So as soon as I click on this, a new window appears. And then I discovered that um, the criteria used for owner was equals current user or users teams. Now, out of the box, this particular view, so lists associated with the owner, the out of the box criteria is equals current user. So I went back to the other CM 2013 environment just to confirm that. And yes, the out of the box um, criteria for the list associated with the owner view has owner equals current user. So I was thinking, okay, maybe it's something to do with this particular criteria. So what I then did was I just decided to select another entity and apply the same criteria so that when I update the changes, will it also um, replicate the same error. So just to show you what it looks like before we go and change the view. Um, if we look at my open opportunities here, you'll see that it loaded without an error. Now, as soon as I change this view, the criteria of owner equals current user or users teams, I save and close and now I publish my customizations. But before I do that, I'm just gonna close my Outlook. So we're gonna publish that change that we applied to that owner criteria in the My Opportunities view. So the, chain, the customizations have been published. I'm now going to open up my Outlook again and we're gonna to navigate to um, my opportunities in the CRM Outlook client.
and there you go. So I was able to reproduce the problem. Um, so that definitely told me that there is something wrong with that particular criteria. Um, so then the other thing that I also did was I looked at the event viewer on my um, local machine on my laptop and went through, oops, actually let me refresh this. And sure enough, that error was being captured. So it's saying that there's an invalid operation exception, um, deserialize. So then the next thing I did was um, I had a chat with a developer just to see whether um, he had any insights into it and he didn't. So the other thing that I did was logged it with Microsoft. So it is with Microsoft at the moment. Um, hopefully they do something about it. But now that I found the cause to the actual error that was occurring, um, the most simple thing to get around this is to actually enter those criteria as individual um, rows in the query and use an OR statement. So if I now go back to the marketing list view and I get rid of this, oops, not that one. Actually, I can change it here. So I'm going to add another um, criterion here. So this time I'm going to select equals current users teams. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select uh, and select both of these and create an OR statement. Click save, save and close, and now I want to publish my changes. So by doing that, I'm still capturing the same um, output, but the way I've built it using um, the filter criteria is different. Rather than including the same conditions in one row, I've separated them out and using an OR statement. So I'm just going to go ahead and close my Outlook and reopen it. Um, one thing that I did forget to show you was that in, in CRM, in the web client, so not in Outlook, um, no error was occurring. Now because I just updated the marketing list view, I might as well take you back to the um, opportunities view, so the my opportunities, just to show you that it is working. So it's worked here without an error. And just to make sure that we did update that condition of owner. Yep, so see it is, there it is there. It's working in the web client, but it's not working in the Outlook client. So if I now open up my Outlook, and I'm going to navigate back to um, the marketing list. And there you go. So the error is not occurring anymore and the view is loading as expected. Um, but now if I go back to opportunities, so I didn't change that view, remember, um, it's now showing CM failed to load. So that's the error that I came across, well actually the customer came across, where um, lists associated with the owner the view was not working because of the criteria that was used. So the condition that was used was owner equals um, current user or users teams. So when that was used, it was causing this error in the same Outlook client for whatever reason. And as soon as you um, remove that, condition in the filter criteria it seems to work fine and as I mentioned I have reported it to Microsoft so hopefully it will be resolved. Great so hopefully if you have come across this problem then this will help you um, and yeah rock on. See ya.